All right. Ah, welcome to the hardest sport in the world. Ah, welcome to hell. The trenches, the fun zone. Yep, back out of the garage here. Let's get after it. Got a song. Couldn't couldn't find a song for today. You know, a nice a nice new song. So we're gonna we're gonna go back to an old song. It's my uh, it's my default song for some reason that uh, if I can't find a song, it's the song I play. <laughs> All right, we're off to the gym here for first of two beautiful trainings. Yeah, happy, happy Monday. All right, it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a great day. You just gotta, you just gotta trick your mind to think that it's gonna be, and it will be. Here's my, uh, here's my tip of the day for you. So whenever you're, uh, you can use this to deal with uh, pain too. This is kind of how I deal with like, you know, if my legs and shit hurt or if my wrists hurt or my shoulders hurt or whatever but if you're uh, gonna do a workout or just gonna do something you know that just kind of sucks and you just don't want to do it in the moment in the moment you don't want to do it just imagine yourself you know five years later are you really gonna like remember this specific exact moment of when you were tired and didn't feel like it and then ended up doing it and it was like oh that sucked that was so hard to do but five years later you're not you're not gonna remember you're not gonna remember this day of when things were a little bit tough and you didn't want to do it even sometimes you won't even remember a week later or a day later of the you know the little tough things you went through like can you remember every single hard thing that you had to do last week some of the things that suck now mate there's probably a few but then a month later are you gonna remember all the things of last week that sucked that you didn't want to do and then six months later you're gonna remember now imagine five years later as if you're gonna remember a single thing last week that sucked unless it was you know life-changingly bad then you're most likely not gonna remember so that's a little trick with uh, in the moment when you're trying to you know do something that sucks is just to remember or not remember but imagine yourself five years down the road like is this really gonna be something that's so hard that five years later I'm gonna be sitting back thinking oh good thing I didn't do that because it was too tough and if you really think about it those tough things like those really tough things those will be things that you do end up remembering and looking back on in a way of I'm glad I did that like, you know if you just started working out for the first time you know your first couple of weeks are gonna gonna suck just trying to like stay on track and building a routine but then like three years later you're gonna be like wow I'm, I'm so happy I went through all those hard things in the moment they sucked but I'm glad I went through it all that's just the that's the that's the way you have to view a view no 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 that's just the way you have to view it you know when everything's kind of you know when you're doing stuff that you don't want to do that's why a lot of the times in the vlogs I'll always say you gotta be a person with uh, with vision so you can be able to envision what your life will look like in the future so that when you're working and you know training and whatever for all these things you want to do you can picture what the results are going to be like wait what's your goal going to be because if you aren't able to you know envision yourself in where you're trying to achieve then it's going to be a lot harder you know push past all the shitty moments and work towards your goal if you aren't able to picture the results of all the hard work but yep there's your little small little tip of the day for you, I guess. It was pretty good. I was about to not talk actually for that whole car ride. I was not feeling the whole pep talk thing today, but I still got still got some words out of words of wisdom, of motivation. Because these whole uh, car ride talk things aren't just for you guys, you know. They're to help me get in my mindset before training, so I can so I'm able to you know focus up before I get into the gym here. So it's a win-win. But yeah, we're at the gym, the red zone, the dead zone, the kill zone, the war zone. Let's get to work, shall we? I die, drunk, I die, drunk, I die. If you drinks pouring, couldn't stop it. Turning a slow dance into a mosh pit. Hold my hand and I earn a locket. Put my fur in the car, was a crown bin. Last time I was in the back of a cop car, I fell in love. Rang, rang, even the cops thought you were wrong for hanging up. Alright, handstand conditioning. Yeah. Uh. All right. Time for pure wet. Oh. 
Oh, all righty, I'm back. Three reverse pirouettes my good way, three reverse my bad way. Deadly. Okay, one bar swing down stance. Okay, Japanese hand stand. Uh, all right, handstand on the rings. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay. Feel weak as fuck. Oh, it's embarrassing. Let's just move on to to the presses. <laughs> Okay, now the roll press is like in my floor routine. Three of them have to be held. We're doing five, by the way. Deadly. All right, now for the new ab conditioning thing. We're just gonna do 30 all three ways. Just one set of that, but just do it every day. for the other new thing we've added into morning training. So one set of the 30 sit-ups each, all three ways, and then one set of squat jumps all the way across. And then if you're wondering what I was doing on Saturday, I was just like in a kneeling position, like low, and then I just walk really slowly forward in a kneeling kind of position, and then the same backwards. Just one set of that. Or I was gonna do this before vault, so it kind of warms me up, you know? To warm up my legs before I do vault. Oh my gosh, it burns. It burns, it burns, it burns. Oh, burn. Deep burn. Ooh, works the knees and the quads and the calves right before a vault, which is nice. So now, it's time for vault. Let's go to vault, shall we? All right, we're gonna start using this camera angle from now on. I don't know why I always put it over there at an angle. So now I can actually study it from the side so I can watch everything better. So this will be the angle we use from now on for vault. Some, sometimes we put it over there for fun because I think I used to put it over there just so it was uh, away from the kids because some kids would go right here. So then I would put it over there so it's kind of in the corner. But all right, time for vault. Two hand springs, one or two folds, and then one or two double twists. And maybe a two and a half if it feels good. But two and a half for sure tomorrow and the next two days. But today's Monday, so two and a half doesn't have to be forced. All right, hand number one. Alright, cool. Uh, I just watched the video back. Uh, it looks like the second I walked away, it just went blurry. So, that's good. Maybe that's why I didn't use this angle, because it went blurry too often. I guess we'll see if it goes blurry again. Hopefully it doesn't, because I would like to use this angle so I can actually study my vaults more with the angle. But yeah, hopefully it keeps its focus this time. Alright, handspring number two. 
Uh, hopefully it's not blurry. All right, sweet, it wasn't blurry. Now for the full twist. Full twist number one. Not bad for a first full. All right, might as well go for a double twist now since that first full was good. Usually I do two fulls because the first full is usually shit. That full is good, so double twist number one. Weird, my legs came apart. They usually never come apart on twisting. Yeah, I just need more heel drive, like I talked about on Friday. I think it was. First, sometimes I go up here, and then it goes like that instead of like that, rotating. So, we're gonna go for the two and a half, but we're gonna use more heel drive so I can actually line it up nicely. So, yeah, two and a half, number one. Did not do the heel drive like I said. Let's try another two and a half, except heel drive, heel drive. Didn't do any heel drive there. I just did the same problem I had before where I just went like that. I didn't go like that to flip. This one will be better. Two and a half, number two. We're gonna finish on that one. All right, that uh, last two and a half was all right. The heel drive on it was better. It was going good. Like my last one, it went like this. And then the one that I just did right there, Went like that, but then I piked it in as I went forward instead of keeping the heel drive going. That's why that two and a half last week on Friday was so good. Yeah, so first one went like that, second one went like that, and then went like that. I just need to like keep it rotating the whole time. I can't rotate and then close in, and that's to stay open the whole time. And then that's how I'll do one like the one I did on Friday. But that's okay. The plan was just to hopefully do a, a good double twist and we did some two and a half, so that's good. Let's do landings now. One stick of everything, and then we're done. All right, done. That's the end of first training. See you guys in second training. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to second training. In on floor here, got the old camera angle that we used to use for the side view. So yeah, let's get started. Might, might be doing basics today. Might be doing just some basic stuff. Right in the way. No, we're done, half routine. Good half routine. Yeah. All right, good half routine. Now we're gonna do a couple triple twists and we're done floor. Suck it, done floor. All right, that's the end of floor. Floor is not too bad, considering I was about to just do basics and I ended up doing my half routine and stuff. But yeah, time for P-Bars, let's warm up. Let's get started. All right, back to the old camera angle. Here you go. There's kids over here before us, so I don't want to play here. Oh, 
Alright, so my bruised or broken hand or whatever right here. It's like sharp, sharp pains. Uh, it still hurts when I hang. A little bit in support, but not really, but it hurts way more than it did last week when I was hanging. So uh, we're just gonna go for the routine. If I slip on the hang skills, we'll just restart. But I don't really wanna waste time warming it up because the hand's gonna hurt too much. So it's just kinda go for the routine. If I hit the hang stuff, then good, we can do the rest of the routine. If I mess up the hang stuff a little bit, that's okay. But if I mess it up really bad, we'll just redo it. So yeah, let's go for the routine. I'm warmed up enough for my sports stuff and everything. So keep our routine number one. Okay, I was gonna do two routines. No, it was, that routine was good. I'm happy, thank God, because if it was bad, I'd do another, but it was good. It just hurts to hang, and still the hang wasn't too bad. The giant hurts a lot, so that's kind of why the giant was a little bit bad. The peach was, doesn't hurt as much for some reason. Probably because I, when I do peach, I completely kill the beat before I go up, just because it hurts. But the giant, there's no way really to kill the beat other than to do my dinky little swing. Well, the rest of your team is good. Ah, nice, solid. Thank God I didn't have to do the kip thing. I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have done the kip to save the one a quarter because that hang on the kip, oh, that would hurt. So yeah, we're just gonna do a couple sets of my support stuff now because that doesn't hurt as much. One or two sets. If the first set's really good, we'll just stop. If not, we'll just do two because the support stuff's pretty solid. One more set, but the homna was good, so instead of homna, we'll do stutz, and stutz one DM, DM and a quarter double pike, and then we're good for P-bars. We're not doing kung fu flip today, because this hand, if I hit it wrong, I'm gonna cry. I don't wanna cry. <laughs> Darn, I fell, I never fall. Okay, we're gonna do one more dismount, because that was stupid, why would I fall? I, I never fall in this mount, so we're gonna just stick this one really quick, and then we'll be done. Shut up! Oh. Should've been first try, second try is okay though. There we go, got it. Didn't get first try like I promised, but you know, two times is okay. Okay, let's go. Go to Palmer. Kelly? All right, JD's and Lettleman. JD's and Lettleman, we're gonna see how many Palmer routines I can do today. <laughs> how many routines can hold me? All right, warm up, let's get started. Two to three Palmer routines. Uh, three, three Palmer. Let's just do three, okay? New rule. I have to do three routines every time I go to Pommel, except Wednesday and Saturday. Unless the first two are flawless, then only two. But yeah, so that's what, three, six, nine, twelve. 12 palm routines a week. All right, let's, let's get started. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh, good shit. My first circle, I nailed my legs. Holy fuck. Maybe just one routine today, maybe just one. All right, let's just go for a routine. Might as well, might as well. Palm routine number one. Oh, 
Total Cars. Swing it, swing. Up, up, that man. Up, up. Nice. Woo hoo! My locks are going to be sore tomorrow. Hey. Alright, Palmer routine number two. All right, Palmer routine number three. <laughs> One out of three. All right. Not too. Not too happy with that uh, pommel session. Fell on the second routine. Fell on the third routine. That's not good. Made the first one, but I made it with a bit of form break. So the next two, I was mainly focused on not breaking form and making it really clean. And then I fell because of it. So uh, I guess it's like good and bad because I stayed tight, but then I fell. So. Yeah, oh well. Still hit one. At least I hit one, you know, something to look at for the positives. And at least the other two where I fell, I was very clean. But uh, we're gonna try and do three routines pretty much every single training, except for uh, just, uh, Wednesday and Saturday. But uh, yeah, see how long we can keep that streak going because uh, I need to bring back the everyday pommel. I was kind of taking a little break off of it to give my shoulders a little break, but I don't think it helped. My shoulders still hurt just as much as they did before. I think I need like a full on three month vacation off of any sort of physical activity for my shoulders to get better. So uh, yeah, whatever. Let's go, let's go to, enough, enough talking, let's go to high bar. All right, welcome to high bar. Let's uh, warm up and let's get started, shall we? Turkey routine. Let's go! Yeah! Woo! I can do that. Oh, oh, oh. I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Oh? Oh, yeah? I can do that. What a save. I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. Get it, get on the way! Let's go! Nice! Not bad for a cold turkey. All right, we're done with routines. We're gonna give a little uh, Kovacs Coleman connection attempts, one or two attempts, and then we're good to go there. Okay, we're gonna give it one more try on the connection. Let's go. I gotta stop <clears throat> being a bitch. Cause every time I catch it, kind of when I'm going for that Coleman, the second part, I'm just going like this, just a little. And that little this at the end there, where I pull, just pulls me right over. There's no way I'll ever fucking catch it if I do that. 100% of the time, I'll never catch it if I pull like this at the end. I'm gonna say. Like I'm pulling right there and letting go super early. It's not gonna happen though. I have to, I have to just Kovax, kick, let go. That's all you gotta do. Any Kovax, Coleman, Gaylord, any of that shit, you just kick, let go. Never pull. All right, one more attempt. And the kick, the kick, 
50 times a season. Yeah, like they're paid to not. Money! Money! Let's go! Alright, solid turn, caught the connection, made the Decatur factory, thank god. To the rep, you know, that was pretty much like a second half, which is good, solid. And I still felt like I had lots of energy left, which is nice. We're not working the soup half today, we'll work it tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll throw everything together tomorrow. You know, Endo, Stoop Full, Stoop Half, Gaylor, Kovacs, Coleman, Decatur, Staller, Quas, Dismount. 5.9 start value. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. But yeah, that was a good set. Pretty much adding the cost into every single turn, which is nice. It's become an easier skill. The Kovacs Coleman is starting to come. Yeah, just gotta bring that soup full in and put it all together, and we got a gold medal routine there. All right, good shit. We're gonna do a little bit of ring strength. My shoulders are, and I'm gonna talk about them, okay? My shoulders feel great. You know, trick the mind, trick the body. My shoulders feel amazing. We're gonna do some ring strength, and then we're done training today. All right, we're just gonna do a little bit of ring strength because my shoulders are absolutely screaming at me right now. So yeah, just light, light quash workout, that's it. Oh, first set's warm up set. Oh. Hopefully the pain just like goes numb, you know? Oh. Oh. Trying to enjoy my night, but you done came here. I didn't turn into a rude dude. All right, we're gonna get Clark to spot me. Hopefully, hopefully that helps. You know, we just gotta work past it, and then I feel like each day it'll hurt less. Hopefully, let's just pray on it. Yeah, it's good. Oh. Oh, that's better. That's better. Coldest city. Doesn't hurt as bad. Only hurts once I get off the rings. Cause now, now, <laughs> now it's hurting. Now it's hurting. But like, but while I was on the rings, getting spot wasn't as bad. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Bring me up. Ready? Okay, good. Oh. oh. Go. Holy fuck my fucking shoulders, bro. All right, well, let's, let's kill another set, shall we? Gotta get hyped. Just think of everyone that broke my heart. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. we are in the Jeep now and that is the end of training. That was a absolutely solid training. Ring strength at the end there was quite fergalicious fun, you know, it's just, uh, nothing, not much to say there. I'm hoping uh, a solid week of aggressively forcing ring strength and then the pain kind of like eases back. Either the pain eases back or my body just like, you know, understands that this is like the new default, this is the new normal. So then my shoulders can go back to kind of like how they were before. So then it's not like, you know, before it wasn't like too painful doing rings. Now for some reason I think my shoulders became little bitches and now they really hurt. So uh, yeah, we're gonna really force <coughs> Sorry, my voice sounds weird. We're gonna really force rings this week. We're gonna be trying to do all six every single day, like we did today. Half routine on floor, plus all my skills. It was not bad floor session, actually. Full PBR routine, would have done two, but my whatever's going on with my hand. Then we did two half routines. First one sucks, second one was really good, or not bad, I can't remember. Three palm routines, first one was good. Next two were clean, but I fell. High bar, full routine, fell, but it was not bad, other than that little fall. And then we cut the Kovacs Coleman connection with the rest the routine so it was pretty much like a second half of the 6-0 routine we're just gonna call it 6-0 i'm not gonna keep saying 5.9 so that was like the second half of the 6-0 routine and yeah what's that all the event that is all of them vault this morning was not bad considering i was just gonna hopefully do a double twist but we went for a couple two and a halfs my shoulders feel ferocious we're gonna go home and take an absurd amount of advil but yeah that's the end of video if you watched the full video and enjoyed it glad to hear that if you watched the full video comment the word 
Venom. V E N O M. Venom. All right, deadly. Thanks for watching. Bye, I love you.